Hi, this is Michael Morrow. I'm the leader of the Myeloid Proliferative Disorders Program at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and a, and a CMO physician. I thought it would be a good time to uh, share some thoughts with you. I know it's been a time of great uncertainty, particularly um, around occlusic or panantinib um, for CML. Uh, there's been a lot, of bit, a lot of bits in the news, there's been announcements, and um, obviously there's been concern about um, what this means for access to uh, this therapy for CML. First off, the most important thing to say is to talk to and listen to your doctors, um, to seek their advice, um, ask questions about the uh, implications of what's been said and the implications of what it might mean to, to not have as direct access to panantinib. As we speak now, we know that panantinib is no longer available by prescription and that means physicians have to go through other pathways to gain access to panantinib for their patients. That may take some time. Um, as CML physicians, we're trying to encourage the FDA and others to make sure that access is direct and isn't delayed. We know this can be a life-saving therapy for patients with CML and there are many patients in whom uh, panantinib is being taken successfully without any concern for adverse effects so far and in whom we of course still need to watch for in the future. And th there are of course those that have had questions about their side effects and what, what it means for them. Back to the point about listening to your physician, the, the, the best advice is to to uh, move ahead critically uh, and carefully, but also confidently that you know we've had a long history with these treatments in CML. We know um, about what side effects are present now. We know a fair bit about what we've seen. We're not certain as to mechanism or the risk of it, each patient, or even necessarily a lot about how to manage it right now, but rest assured that we're doing aggressive investigations into what exactly the likelihood is, what might be some of the causes, how to best manage it and fix it, and how to move forward for patients who might need panantinib or other therapies for that matter in CML with certain risks. So again, I want you to know that all of us as a community can come together, find solutions to these questions, move forward, and hopefully, most importantly, make sure everyone has, has access to the therapy that they need to keep them safe in a remission for CML. Take care.